do melang everybody i am back i am interviewing with jana and i am a spiritual medium for tevin consult so today we are going to explore a little bit on what to expect when you come visit a medium now that you know what a medium is or you understand what a medium does um what do you do what how how do you prepare yourself for coming to see a medium uh, how do you have that intrapersonal conversation with yourself or what it is that you can come and expect when you have an appointment with a medium so i normally give a couple of disclaimers um for ease of my clients so that um they don't find themselves flustered bewildered and everywhere else in the spirit you know because the spirit is a game of energy you give your energy i give of my energy and ancestors come through with their own energy so when you come to see me or when you go see a medium this is what a medium will do a medium will prepare prior to the consultation or sometimes they will just go at a whim and just you know uh, hit the ground running but obviously they would have done their own preparations because you can't disrespect the spirit you can't come here and start to freestyle and say i see you are mm -mm. Like I said on the other video, that there is something that supplements you. There is something that is in charge of the gift. There's the owner of the gift. There's, you know, somebody that allows you into the spiritual passages. You just don't walk in a uh, da because you are good and you are fly and you are. What is the this? No, it does not work that way. There is always a protocol in the spirit. So. I normally disclaim and tell my people, Hore, I will be getting images from your past. When I get images from your past, I get things like, when did things start to go wrong? On a lucky day, I would get a particular date. If your thing started going wrong on the 12th of May in 1970, Mang Mang, or when you were 12 years old, I would get a digit, I would get a detail. And this is helpful when you need to reverse what was done, whatever that was done against you, when we need to reverse it. So I would get those kind of images, the date, sometimes it's imperative, sometimes it is not, the detail is important, and I would be shown or... I would be shown when you are age 17, this particular thing happened to you. So this is part of the co past component or the past images that I will be seeing. Some of the things have happened to you when you were a little baby, really innocent, just trying to navigate your way around this world. And people decided, ah, ah no, for who? Navigate for who? Why are you going to be amazing and brilliant? We must come. Uh, in between you and your prosperity because like i said good people bad people in the world so other times i will be seeing things that happened to you when you were older certain decisions that you took when you were older either you were coming you the associations your friends and this is a whole uh, part of the the past ne? and then Remember, I do a travel, a travel around a time. So it's a it's a time loop that I travel into. I go into your past and I come to your present situation. Your present situation would then normally tell me how you are feeling, certain things that happen to you on your body. Uh, you normally have this headache. You normally have this sensation at the back. You normally have this itching ear. You normally have... So these are the physical things that I will be able to explain to you. But again... Um, there's also another thing of an emotional assessment so where i will be able to assess your emotions um some certain people would come through uh, panicking 
because of the consultation itself but you find where a person has their own chronic anxieties about them um they have self-doubt issues they have so it's sort of so when we do your assessment we do your your psychological and your emotional your what one that kind of an analysis and it will also get to explain the overall day-to-day -day. so this is like your operational your operational day-to-day -day issues hey, i'm losing money i'm losing my family i am confused about a certain path i am doing this kind of things so that is the current assessment that we we normally say we do when we are entering into the spiritual world and the spirit will also give us a glimpse of the future and i like to say a glimpse because we manage people's expectations uh when we say we are given a glimpse because if i if anybody were to sit here and claim hey we see the future dot 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 then it opens a whole lot of scrutiny but this glimpse uh, of 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 the of the future is given for a purpose yeah when we are doing things right when we are following the spiritual prescripts when we are mandated when we are guided by the spirit in this consultation this is ideally where this person can be provided we do things correctly with them in the spirit let me give you an example uh, the spiritualist no we see there's a lot of money you are going to be muhumi and again need you find where people are seeing for the that this person is going to be by rig right it does not take away from the responsibility of your decisions that you need to make i can sit here and tell you that in there in your spiritual a passage in your spiritual story i see where you are going to be a, a very rich person and then after a consultation you work you walk out of here and you decide to stand there by the corner and you start to smoke you start to take drugs you start to take ill uh, decisions or you know very crooked you start to decide on things that just don't serve you and then you come back to me two years later like i'm not being rich what is going on so hence i'm saying when we are guided very well by the spirit and we get a glimpse of the future to say if you do this and that handle that is what the spirit will do for you or that is what lies for you in the spirit i'm just using finances because it's one thing that we can all identify with and it's one thing that we always need and we all all need and we never have enough of so i'm just using finances as as um, a low-hanging fruit of an example so my point is we can tell you where you are gonna go ideally in the future but the decisions that you are going to take it's so how do you end up there are also very important so hence we then say when we are fully guided by the spirit this is ideally where your future should be headed i get I then explained about a certain physical things that I will be able to feel. So that is also the, you know, I assume your, I assume your spiritual energy. I assume your spiritual place. Um, there's something that is going to transport me to be, you know, to feel things the way that you feel. That is why in most consultations you find somebody is depressed and I'm the one crying and I'm screaming and I'm, dealing with this, with this very very heavy emotions just to express them on your behalf so certain things like that will then happen so when i get to sense certain things that happen to you when you're a client you're sitting across me or you're sitting across the video um you're sitting across the telephone line and i'm able to sense what you are going through we know that when we're looking for a recourse when we're looking for a solution we are going to be looking for a spiritually led solution than a panado a led solution because in a normal world there is no way that i'll be able to feel that pain on your chest 
unless I am connected, unless the Spirit allows for me to feel it. So the Spirit would have always also made an allocation for us to solve it in a spiritually led kind of way. When you visit a medium, um, earlier on I spoke about connecting. So I normally would connect with your name and say name, as I indicated. I would connect with your name and say name just to call your ancestors through to say, uh, here is Mokadi Lena Bukolovarakolova Bumokadi Kopala di Taba Tabanavalena and we would then do a mini prayer. God let it not be because of this is something that I do every day. It's a divine appointment. Let the divinity come and join us so that we are able to execute it well. And that is where it's important, imperative to have spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, and spiritual mind. So you have to be spiritually open-minded, um, you know, to, to get uh, this kind of messages that are going to be coming through. Now... Sometimes other people's ancestors will not come through. There are people who say, I want to connect with my ancestors. I'm seeing a medium. I want to connect with my ancestors. Now, people who are accustomed to the teachings of the Holy Spirit will tell you that you need to have a fellowship. This is a spirit. It just does not come on a whim, random. You have to have a fellowship with your people so that when and you're saying to them, you to them, I get it. So, sometimes people come and they don't know anything about their ancestors. They have never spoken to ancestors and they get a surprise where their ancestors don't come through. Sometimes ancestors don't come through because you don't know each other. So, but the ancestors are because they have never interacted with them. But it does not mean that you will live here disappointed because my ancestors will do the job. They will come through. They'll be like, hey, this is our forte. Hey, this person's ancestors, not that they don't exist. Obviously, it is by a spiritual orchestration that you find yourself across me. Something must have pushed you to come to me. Either it was a thing on Facebook, either you searched for spiritual mediums across Africa and you got me. You, But something would have divinely orchestrated for this moment. And therefore, that something will supplement us in this consultation. But then in such cases, you just find Hore, my ancestors will say, hey, Karebe, Abe, this is the file. They will bring it from home affairs. This is what was happening during her birth. You know, they will, they will carry us through. So people now get to panic. No, the other time we spoke and the ancestors are like, does it mean Hore, it was not a legitimate um, consultation? But mine will carry you. And then we will teach you how to activate yours. So that is one other thing that you can expect. An activation of your own ancestors. Because I normally say I don't want retainer clients. I don't want somebody. I know consultation. We want to get people to fully understand their ancestors. Understand their makeup. Understand their spiritual identity. So that you can be able to summon your own ancestors on your own behalf. The other thing that you can expect uh, when you visit a medium, you can expect to get solutions to your problems. Solutions to your problems are mandated by the spirit. As the president will say, uh, they are mandated versus they are compulsory. Oh, mandated, they are compulsory. They will be mandated by the spirit. People will come to me because I do not, or they do not see the dawla, or I do not use the dawla, or I do not use anything else that uh, identifies me as an African healer. They would get shocked when I say your ancestors demand that you get cleansed. Or your ancestors are saying you have a gift. Yeah, wo, ngoma. 
ya busangoma, ya busebeleti, ya buruti. Either variation. Remember I explained earlier in my other videos. You can go find you in my other video to say oh, there's a plain field of the spirit. How but why you decide that you can use it depends on them. Now people will get shocked to say, Oh, a medium, you are going to take me to the river. You are going to wash me with herbs. It's what your ancestors are saying. Sometimes your ancestors would say, Wanangutan, take this glass of water, pray for it, give it to this child, let them go forth and prosper. So, your ancestors are the ones that are concerned with your own prescription. I don't prescribe. I don't have the powers. I'm not good. I'm not wavy. But your ancestors will then say to me, Samomitlapisakono king. Or sometimes they would say, move the scripture and carry them with prayer. They would say, they would give a variation. They would give a variation of your prescription. So people normally get shocked when they come here and go for and then they are ah, medium. So when you are not a medium, you are disguised. Mm -mm. I'm a spiritual worker. I will do what the spirit mandates that we should do together. Right. I specialize so far. I can confidently say I specialize in activating your own ancestors because everybody own a little ancestor, Sabona. Some of us are from certain uh, religious dom uh, into, uh, denominations where they recited the veneration of ancestors. So the spirit has given me a particular, you know, a sprinkling yana to activate other people's ancestors. So we will start with you either telephonically or via video. We'll start with you, talk to you, connect with your ancestors and... After more, when you start to dream for yourself, you start to hear your own people speaking uh, on your own behalf. I mean, speaking to you. So you don't necessarily need me all the time. Here and there where you get stuck, I'll be there, you know, on a call. I'll be there on WhatsApp. Um, don't abuse me, please. Don't abuse me. Oh, I'm a child of God. Don't abuse me. Because people do abuse us. But it's because most people don't know. It's a new terrain. It's a new terrain and people find themselves just not knowing what to do in the spirit. I get it. What do ancestors come and do? In a consultation, what do they do? Certain things. They come to embrace us. Oh, very close. They will come to embrace us. They will come to reprimand you when you are doing things that you're not supposed to be doing. They will come to just vouch support for new ventures, for business ideas, for your marriage, for uh, you, you are not having kids. They will come through with a little nana baby. I'm going to give you a baby. So these are the things that they will come and vouch as support for whatever it is that you are trying to do. Ne? Sometimes ancestors would come to give a spiritual file, identity. Along the way, and what is your own spiritual magic? Because each and each family has their own spiritual magic, either good or bad. But each family has their own spiritual magic. So sometimes ancestors will just come through to give a file. This is who we are, and this is what we do. And sometimes they will just come to tell you, you have a gift. This is the kind of a gift that you have. Okay. So. When you come to a medium, it is mostly just a conversation between you and I and the presence of our ancestors, the presence of God. And the ancestors give us what? They are loving, they are kind. They are always coming through for you, you know, to do good. They are not always angry. And when they are angry, they are able to be pacified. So they just don't get angry in perpetuity. Mm -hmm. And you live your life wondering, what did I do? Are they ever going to love me? So they have their own characteristics. And I will share with you when the time allows 
about their characteristics of ancestors. But I hope you pretty much know what to expect when you go to visit a medium. But most importantly is to ask your own ancestors that kiakai kai mutola and samanglinna and guide me. And the most important thing is just to surrender. Surrender and let the spirit do what it's supposed to be doing because it's the greatest fixer. Go forth. Samalopatla le rapele. Most importantly, go out there into the world and prosper. Because you have them to pick you up. Until next time, thank you so much. I'm Tabby, your spiritual medium. Bye-bye.